sense that you would fall on owls and they'll lead you to water. But as Navajos, we believe that owls are bad luck. So they represent death, they represent bad omens. So I'm going to be talking about the Pueblo. So that's this group. So before we have to talk about these villages, we're going to talk about the ancestors who live up in the four corners, the ancestors of Pueblo. Now this is what we're going to be talking about, because they're all part of the Pueblo. So, This is where you actually had the first apprentice. Okay, of the these the Pueblo people who socks here are made out of the turkey feathers. Bible so you had that whole thing going on for about a hundred years. It's actually made followers. out of turkey so feathers. And that's when you had the revolt of the Pueblo people. Now this is when they read. This is okay, evidently when the Spanish came to came in to America and saw the Indians, they, they saw these. And thought that they had already no, taken on Christianity or somebody had taught them about Christ. What these actually symbolize are dragonflies. So they're just simply dragonflies, they're not the cross. And they made symbols for the dragonfly because he hung out where the water was good to drink. He, it wouldn't have an alkaline in it. So they're, the dragonfly was a symbol of Pure water, good luck type deal. The fellows would surround them with the whole villagers and just stare at them overnight. Yeah, the little guy the got, until the Spanish got uncomfortable. Over here. And they would move again. And when they found streams at I'm night, the fellows, they would dam up that whole pit. stream so the water would die out. The Spanish had no water to drink. And they kept doing this. All the people they would have a little bit of so I'm not narrating a whole lot because so I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going to give you false now, information. Now, of course, when you're making bread, what do you got to do? You got to grind it. what else? Bake it. Before you get the baking food, what's the whole separation process? Kneading. Kneading. Making it rise. This is the dough bowl they would actually use for that whole process. I never fall so in this tube, guys. I go off my own.